My name's Emma, I'm an artist, artivist and educator. And my mission is to tell stories about the ocean and inspire people in the way that's joyful and in the way that people might learn things that they might otherwise not know. Um, and I'm here, based here, um, on this beautiful coastline, um, close to Eddie Serra, which was uh, a sleepy fishing village until recent decades. And now it's World Surfing Reserve and it's a destination and attracts tourists and surfers from all over the planet. I think this coastline is particularly special. Um, Partly because it's extremely beautiful and inspiring, but also we're right on the edge of Western Europe, like not far from the westerly most points of continental Europe. And there's something quite exhilarating about looking out and that there is just thousands and thousands of miles of ocean out there. Um, and I moved here recently from the UK, but I've always been an ocean um, and I think there's nowhere else that I feel more connected. That's what's super special. And when you're in the ocean, you can feel both tiny and vast at the same time. And it's almost like all the boundaries between what is you and nature and everything else sort of get washed away and you just feel like expansive. So because that's also what I want to convey through my work, um, I find being on the coast just the most inspiring place to be. So I love being on the coast and feeling that meeting of land and sea. Um, and sometimes there's this kind of false impression that there's a boundary between um, ocean and land, whereas it really is all so connected and like the water cycles and the atmosphere, there is no boundary. And for that reason, it's also, I think, a connector for people um, and a way that we can come together. And I find like as an educator or as an artist, bringing people together on the coast can be extremely important. And a way to collaborate whether it's with scientists or other educators or I've collaborated with yoga teachers to start try and break down some of those barriers and tell how the ocean is important to each and every one of us. So I guess my mission is bringing people together and educating and spreading awareness through art and um, in a way that perhaps communicates to groups of people that wouldn't necessarily have known about uh, certain ocean issues. Um, and I think art has great potential for doing that, and whether that's through workshops or reaching a wider community or, or in collaboration with, with other fields, it's just a, a new perspective. So yeah, that's, uh, that is my main mission here. They're actually um, working on something um, on rights for nature. So it's kind of focused in Panama, but it's rights for nature globally. So um, actually having a legal right to uh, like a, a species to have a legal right to, to live. Um, and I guess even, even us, we have a legal right to a healthy climate, healthy future. So it's, I guess, using art and illustration for that, but then also some other projects that just are a bit more immediate to this community to do with mindfulness and art and you know, connecting just in a kind of more visceral way with our surroundings and shaping the environment. I think the first step is instilling a love for the ocean and a love for nature and an understanding that we're all part of it and we're all interconnected and interdependent. Um, but also instilling a sense of stewardship and responsibility of care to look after wherever we, we are, wherever we live, our home. 
Um, and I guess it's something that indigenous communities have been doing since time immemorial. But in our society, we seem to have got distracted a little bit along the way and bringing back those values through communication, through science, through whichever form I think 